Here we have two new products at ISE this year. Uh, our new DZ870 single chip DLP. That's an 8000 lumen model with built-in digital link and SDI. And connected to it is a brand new lens adding to our single chip lens range. It's the ultra short throw mirror version, uh, a 0.38 to one lens. As you can see, it allows you to project. Here we have a 100 inch image and the projector is less than 20 centimeters from the back wall. Uh, it's an exciting product allowing us to use our high brightness, mid-range single chip models in a retail environment which previously would have required a very complicated mirror rig or another, uh, other alternative types of lenses. And uh, now we can offer it all from the Panasonic range. Here we have the YFB100, Panasonic's new digital link scaler and switcher box, allowing you to connect to HDMI, to computer, a video or an S video, and send the signal down a single inexpensive Cat5 or Cat6 cable to a digital link projector. We're showing it connected to our new solid state projector. The VW431D has been on the market for six months and will also work with Digital Link. And many new products that will come out in the projector range this year will also have Digital Link on them. The YFB100 is a very cost effective way of adding multiple inputs to a small installation without adding any cost. The box itself can be controlled using the projector's remote. Uh, and it is completely HD Base T compliant. So any third parties that are HD Base T compliant also will also work with our equipment. This is our solid state projector, the RZ370. It's the 1080p version of the already released RW330. Uh, here we are uh, demonstrating the power consumption benefits that you get with solid state projectors. It's a laser and LED hybrid unit, so it uses a combination of LED and laser light sources instead of a standard lamp. It gives you outstanding reliability. You can get 20,000 hours of life out of the projector with zero maintenance, no lamp changes, no filter changes. Uh, the other benefit of, of solid state or LED lights is, of course, the lower power consumption. Here you can see the power consumption here in normal mode is uh, around 100 watts less than the equivalent same brightness normal lamp projector. However, if I enable eco mode, you can see the power consumption drops further without uh, much effect to the brightness of the image. Running the projector in eco mode can save several hundred euros per unit per year. And if you have several units in a, a museum or a large signage installation, this can add up to significant savings.